I'm Evan Eide. I'm Senior Specialist with the Bonhams Motoring Department. And today I've got something really special to show you. Every once in a while in this business, we get something really, really special to offer to the public. And this car is, I have to say without a doubt, the most special brass car I think the auction market has seen in a very, very long time. It checks every box as far as what you would want in a pre-World War I American sports car. It is a impeccable example of one of the greatest makes of the pre-World War I era. Simplex is the top of almost any brass car collector's wish list of the ultimate sports car of this era. A car powered by a 600 cubic inch four-cylinder T-head engine, driving through massive dual chain drive rear end, and in this case, clothed with some of the most attractive coachwork of the era. This car is, of course, all original, original coachwork, matching numbers car, and a car with the most impeccable provenance in history. This car is known widely as the L Eleanor Sears Simplex, and she owned this car from 1912 to 1939. It was given to her by Harold Vanderbilt as an engagement gift, and it was a beloved car for her. She was and is considered the greatest American sportswoman of the pre-World War II era, and she was accomplished in something like 17 sports. And this is absolutely the kind of car that you would imagine someone like that driving. Having owned the car to 1939, this car never fell into neglect. She had the car running. She drove the car to an early VMCCA event in Massachusetts in 1939. So this car has never been a derelict car. This car has probably never spent a night outside of a garage in its entire life. And that's the quality of the car you're looking at here. Simplex cars are quite rare. They didn't build many of them, they were extremely expensive. And survivors today are rare, and survivors with original coachwork are extremely rare. And to have a original bodied car like this, and this car has unique coachwork. This is not a standard factory offering. This is a custom built model by Quinby for Vanderbilt and Sears. The other interesting aspect of this car that's always made this car so famous and had such a great reputation is that in the 1950s, this car was owned by Charles Chain, the head of engineering at General Motors. And he had engineers at GM do the restoration on this car. And they balanced this engine and reworked the steering and the brakes to to the point where, I mean, this car is absolutely phenomenal to drive. The fact that this car is from 1912 and you drive it, it absolutely blows you away. The handling and the brakes, the steering, the motor is just on another level. I mean, a simplexes are great cars, but this car is so different from your average simplex in the way it drives. It's one of the other components of this car that's made this car such a great and famous car for all these years.